we have to dilate triangle ABC by a scale factor of 2 thirds. And we have to use point D as the center of dilation. Whenever you are performing a dilation that has a fractional scale factor, we should understand that the resulting shape will be smaller than what it was when we started. So let's start by figuring out how far away is point A from point D. In the x direction, we would have to move 1, 2, 3 units to the left, and we would have to move 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 units in the y direction. So what we do is we take those two distances, our x distance and our y distance, and we find two thirds of that distance. So instead of going over three units to the left, we take two thirds of three, which would be two. So let's only go two units to the left. And instead of going up nine units in the y direction, we are going to take two thirds of that distance, which would be six. So let's go up one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're gonna label that point, point A. Now let's take a look at where point B is going to be located. In the x direction, we would have to move one, two, three, four, five, six to the right, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine up. So we're gonna take two thirds of those dimensions. Instead of going six to the right, we're gonna do two thirds of that, which is four to the right. So one, two, three, four. And instead of going up nine, two thirds of nine is six. So we're going to go up one, two, three, four, five, six, and then plot our new point and label it point B. And of course, point C is one, two, three, four, five, six to the right and three up. So once again, two thirds of six is four. So we go over to the right, one, two, three, four. And instead of going up three, we take two thirds of three, which is two. So we go up two units and plot point C. Now we can connect our newly formed points to form our dilated triangle. Let's try another example. For this example, we have to dilate triangle ABC by a scale factor of one half. And once again, we have to use point D as our center of dilation. So point A is one, two, three, four, five units to the right, and one, two, three, four, five, six units above. So what we have to do is take half the distance of five and half the distance of six to determine the new location of point A. Half the distance of five is two and a half. So we go to the right one, two, and a half, and instead of going up six, we do half of that distance, which is three. So we go up one, two, three, and then we plot our new point and label it point A. Now for point B, we are going to do something a little bit different. The original point B, if you notice, is one, two, three, four units to the right. And because we are dilating by a scale factor of one half, that means that the new line segment of AB will be one half of its original distance. So instead of B being located four units to the right, it's going to be half of that distance, which is two units to the right. So let's go to the new location of A and move one, two units to the right, and then plot our new point, which is point B. And originally C was located one, two, three, four, five, six units below. So we take half that distance, which is three, and plot the new location of C. So we are going to go one, two, three units below, and then plot our point, and then label it C. And then we can connect our points to form our dilated shape. So we should notice that each corresponding line segment is half the distance of what it was. So the new line segment AC is half the distance of the original line segment AC. We should also notice that each new point is half the distance away from the center of dilation than what it was before. If you were to draw a line from the center of dilation 
and connect it to the new location of A and then keep going to the old location of A, we can see that point A or the new point A is half the distance of the old point A. The same holds true for points B and points C as well. We can clearly see each new point is half the distance of what it was before. And that is how you perform a dilation on the coordinate plane when dealing with fractional scale factors.